So each morning the children come to the green carpet after our morning meeting, and um, we um, the, there's di these are different areas in the classroom, learning areas where the children can go. So we have pictures of the children, and they are, are able to place their uh, um, faces on area any area of the um, room that they would like to go and to work at. And um, the, it's their it's their it's their free choice. They're not asked to go to a certain area, and so it which in case uh, uh, the children more are more engaged and, and they can freely. Um, change their mind and go somewhere else afterwards or decide that they're hungry and take a snack or lunch break. So snack and lunch is self-regulated and children can go there throughout the day. The great thing about that is we are able to um, work at inquiry spaces, play-based learning areas without having to clean up. If all of our class had to be tidied up for a whole class snack, then we would lose a lot of that authenticity of the learning. There's not, and we don't limit the amount of children from going into an area. It's uh, what, how many children that want to go there, and they've kind of, we've kind of, as Joanne said from the beginning, kind of um, encouraged them and taught them what are, uh, what's, if there's too many children, what do we do, or if there's, um, if there are situations where um, you think you know, to solve problems on their own, and so they've become really good at, um, even if there's a larger group of number, that they're able to work together. The students have a special place where they are able to independently clip up their work and this is a great opportunity for them to basically share their thoughts with us. At the end of the day we look at their work and see some of their thinking, their wonders and connect it with either our inquiries or our future provocations that we have in the classroom thinking about the curriculum.